Karen Strickland. I am the school counselor at Mount Comfort Elementary. Think about one of those times that something really frustrating has happened. You're running late to soccer practice, your child can't find their shin guards even though you told them a million times to put them away so then you know where they are the next time. They're upset they can't find their materials. You're upset you're running late. What's happening right now? Your lid is flipped. We talk about this with our students at school all the time. We use this model for our brain to talk a little bit about what's going on in our brain when these moments occur. Um, we talk about this part of our brain right here being our prefrontal cortex right behind your forehead. And this is the part of our brain that's in charge of our really good thinking and our problem solving. Inside here is our amygdala. This is our guard dog, we call it. This is the part of our brain that is responsible for survival and alerting us to danger. When our lid flips, that means that our guard dog, our amygdala, has sensed that something's wrong. Something has happened that could be dangerous, something wrong that could be upsetting to us in all sorts of different ways. And we talk about with kids when that happens, our guard dog barks to alert us that we need to go into survival. And when it does, it scares away what we call our wise owl, that part of our brain that's in charge of our thinking and problem solving. When our wise owl flies away, we're just in survival. We're thinking about survival and we're not in a position that we're able to problem solve as effectively as we are when this wise owl is in control. So when these moments occur, what do we do? So one of the best things that we can do as adults is to model for our children how to handle it ourselves when we have these things happen in our own lives. I know I have triggers and I think everybody does those things that just really make us flip our lid quickly. And when we do, saying out loud, I can feel my lid starting to flip. I, I think I'm gonna go get a drink of water or I'm gonna go take a walk. Um, my lid's flipped, I'm gonna go take a couple of breaths and I'll come back and we can probably solve later. Um, when, your, when your wise owl is in control, that's when you can have those really great conversations, those lessons that you're teaching, those opportunities to say, hey, remember earlier today when we were trying to get out of the house and we couldn't find the shin guards? I felt my lid flip. Did you feel yours flip too? What can we do now to try to fix that so then our lids don't flip next time we're headed out the door to soccer practice? When you're able to have those conversations when your wise owl is in control, those conversations are so much more productive and so much more impactful. So modeling to your kids how you get your wise owl back under control is a great way to support them starting to learn those ways to help them get their wise owls under control.